Uh, good evening. Uh, this is for F1KJA and uh, I would like to introduce to you the Daiwa Charlie November Whiskey, the 727, a uh, 430 and uh, 144 MHz antenna tuner. So this is uh, a cross type uh, meter needle. So uh, we uh, we just restored this and the owner is uh, Old Manil Regaspi with the uh, amateur call sign of Delta Victor 2 NEX so right now uh, to test this uh, antenna tuner at the same time a power meter and SWR meter okay so uh, uh, for the first needle, this will indicate the forward power. Okay, right now I'm on a setting of 200 watts. Okay, and going to zoom it to you. So this is the reading of the forward uh, power, and the other needle will be on the reflected power. Okay. So uh, when there is a cross format at the center. It will indicate the SWR. Okay. So right now, okay, well, I will. I'm going. I'm going to set it. Uh, okay. I'm using a two meter band, and now uh, I am setting to the one four four megahertz, and uh, we will show to you how it works. And at the same time, this is the TR matching and the antenna matching. So we have here an ICOM IC2200 FM transceiver uh, to test this uh, uh, meter. So I am now on a high power. So on a 145 uh, decimal 00, uh, 080 megahertz. So let's see. As you can see, it indicates that uh, we have an in infinity of the SWR and we get a forward power on uh, 35 watts because it has a very high SWR. At the same time, I have a 15 watt uh, reflected power. Okay, So on the upper part, that is the power reading and the other one is on the upper part of the reflected power. So we will try to uh, match this uh, first on the TR matching. So we will transmit the mic. Okay, here's the mic. Okay, thank you. So we will pull down the reflected power to the lower part. Oops, get the lower. So as you can see, once the SWR was getting down to 1.6 right now, the SWR right now is on 60 watts. The power watts pala. The power output is on 60 watts. So, we have already adjusted the TR matching from the lowest point of the reflected power. Okay. So, we will try to uh, adjust the antenna matching to lower down the reflected power. Okay. To the nearest point downward. Okay. So, as you can see, I have now a 60, 62 watts on the reading and I got uh, the lowest reflected uh, power. Uh, the best format here is we have to zero the reflected so that there will be a no return power and uh, we can gain a plus one SWR. So since we have to bring down the antenna matcher to the lowest point, so we will try to transmit it again and adjust the TR matching to the lowest point. Okay. Okay, that is the lowest. And again, you'll just go back and back till till uh, the power turn down. Okay.
So, that's the least that uh, we can adjust that. So, right now, I got a 1.1 reading on the SWR on the cross needle up there. Okay, I'll get some pointing tools. So, transmit it. Okay, see? The reading now is 1.1 and the reflected is something 0.1 power. And we got a 65 watts on the output power of the radio. Okay, so that is the least. That is the best calibration that you can get. Okay. Same with, with the UHF, if you are using a UHF radio, then uh, you have to first to adjust the TR matching, then the antenna matching. Okay, let's go back to the uh, to the lowest point, the lower low power, we'll set this to the lower, okay, and this we will change this uh, setting to the low power portion up to 20 watts. So the reading will be 0 to 20 and the lower reflected power is... Uh, on one to two okay we will try to adjust so 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 there will be no neglect no need to adjust because since on low power so we got a 5 watt reading okay 5 watt reading on the lower part of the SWR okay 5 watt reading on the lower power we got zero deflection on the reflected power and we got a 1.1 SWR okay so let's try on low mid so low mid now is on 10 watts so the reflected power is still the same because it was already been matched okay no reflection on the reflection that's very good good part and we got still a 1.1 SWR so, uh, we got a mid power, change it to mid power. So, we have to push this switch on the 20 watt reading. So, it will not overload the needle. So, we got a 20 watts reading on the upper port. And still no deflection on the reflected power because it was already calibrated on the matching and the antenna matching okay still 1.1 SWR so high power so we got a 65 watts power output and we got no deflection on the reflected power yeah we got uh, yes a minimal deflection see so we will just have to adjust this. Okay. Yes. So that is a very good calibration. So if you have a best calibration on SWR of the plot one, either you are on a low power to the highest power that will be no problem it will not reflect anything the most important thing there is you have a very good calibration on your SWR it will not turn up even you got a 300 or 500 watts uh, signal RF power it will not affect the SWR reading so I hope uh, this will be another uh, learning process, knowledge power for everybody on the ham uh, amateur. So uh, I hope you like it. And if you have any comment or suggestion, please do not hesitate to ask or type in on a comment box in any of this video. So uh, good evening. 73 for F1 KJA signing off.